this might be a shorter stream. I don't know yet. It's Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day. I got the day off. And I haven't done a solo stream in a while, and once again, I am putting off the other things I'm playing to do more Crash. I was going, I was planning, I figured I was just not going to stream today. And, uh, I finally have my PS3 back from the repair shop. I got a new one to replace the, the old one was having problems. And the new one was also having problems, so I had to send that back immediately. Got it fixed. Got it back. It's still crashing for, uh, Red Dead Redemption, so. I think the disc is just screwed on that one. I guess I'll never know how the tale of John Marston ends. I know how it begins. I've seen Red Dead 2. Hello, Darian. So, I spent $100 on a PS3 just to continue the Sonic 06 playthrough, basically. Oh, that's not entirely true. I also will probably be using it for a couple Tony Hawk games. Sly 4, when we get to that in 10 years. Uh, last time, we got everything in the game except relics. Which means we get to see the special bonus thing. Jen abandoned his heavy metal lifestyle for one of smooth jazz. Oh, his album, okay. My heart is a doomsday device. It's, it's one of these. It's where are they now again? Elevators all over the world. He'll be playing in the hotel bar from three to three thirty. Embryo was caught and caged after being mistaken for a flying squirrel. He is on display in the art of taxidermy at Ripper Room's Curious Cabinet of there's, Curiosity. There's normal humans on screen and crash. Oh, that's weird for some reason. His need for speed, Oxide became hooked on caffeine. He was hired as the spokesperson for a leading brand of energy drink. He is currently in rehab and in the throes of a messy divorce. Who is this? Even faker Morgan Freeman. Master, Cortex's lab assistants found themselves in need of a new gig. They renovated his blimp, turning it into a successful pop-up shop, specializing in healing crystals. Dingo Dial franchised his restaurant operation, with Dingo's Diner rising to become the first name in chain fast casual dining. They closed overnight with officials citing record health code violations. The original location remains open during its condemnation. I don't even remember what happened to Cortex. After successful expeditions to El Dorado, Shangri-La, Atlantis, and a brief fling with some dweeb named Smith and Trake, Tana is taking a brief hiatus from her adventures to recenter. She's recently taken up scrapbooking. She's not very good yet, but she's getting there. After trying and failing to invent the world's first self-flying flying car, Coco found a new career. Oh, there's Cortex. As a champion. Don't forget to follow kick -ass and Coco some weird cat. That door button. The dimensions have heard nothing more. The doctor's trophy since Crash foiled their plans. But Evil geniuses are harder to squash than cockroaches. Crash one reference. And as for me, well, let's just say I'm doing I just hate it. Fine. I don't like that. I regret watching that now. Yeah, we got a gallery of all sorts of stuff. I don't know what these are from. Are these from this game? I, I guess they must be. And there's actually a thing for maximum... Does that mean all Platinums? Or just all Relics? Well, I'm gonna try for all Platinums. 
I'm, I'm gonna do my very bestest. Uh, who do we use? We used Wanda the Wombat last time. We're a little short on Crash Skins because we did a bunch of the flashback tapes. And there were a bunch of, they were all Coco last time. Now, I know we also unlocked, with the end of the regular story, a triple spin move that I'm hoping I don't need to lead, I don't need to use too much because it's not, I don't think it's fun. We, we don't, we don't need, uh, that's it, that's the triple spin. I don't want to do that the whole level, if I can help it. What's, what's run? We did unlock run, didn't we? Or did we not? Have we always had run, or is there just not a run in this game? I don't remember. I think, yeah, there's just not a run, I don't think. Okay. What is what is that? I got a ghost? Oh no. Also important, how quick is restarting? Mmm. That's not gonna be good for time trials. I wonder if this would be better on not the Switch version. And I gotta skip the cutscene every time. I'll still take this over having to do the stupid, uh... The stupid stuff I had to do for vehicle levels in Crash 3. That happened again. <sighs> I'll take it. Dying is faster. Why is that so much faster? only works three times as well, not, uh... You can't keep doing it indefinitely after the third one. I thought maybe that would be the case. Uh, I just lost a mask, which is... I just lost both of my masks. If this is like previous Crash games, I will need to get all three for the, uh, speed boost. Or maybe I just didn't get the timing right for the uh, continuous one. Oh, that's right, we got rails. Which I don't think I can speed up in any way. I can't speed spin on rails. Also, that would have been my third mask had I gotten them all, so maybe it wouldn't matter. Once again, I've said this in previous streams. The levels in this game are so long compared to other Crash games. I really hope to compensate for that. They're not too, uh, they're not too strict with the, the relic timing. Usually if the levels were super long, they were not incredibly strict in previous games. Because they couldn't be, that just wouldn't be fun for the player. 
Unlike this, I'm having so much fun. Uh, Darian, have you seen... Have you seen time trials of this game? That, uh, it, it, was, uh, it was on a box that time. Hello, Lorid. For the record, I've uh, perfected all the previous Crash games. Well, the Insane Trilogy. Maybe one day if I get bored, I'll get all Platinums in Wrath of Cortex. done time trials and crash three they were easier in insane trilogy than they were in the original crash three i got all platinums in the original on ps1 and i also got them on all three in the insane trilogy and they were definitely made to be more forgiving in the remake damn Spin's also a little bit less. Like if I'm worrying, if I'm worrying about the timing for the triple spin, I can't time it to break boxes. I just I missed a one box earlier because of that. I'm gonna have to suss out which is faster between. Uh, the triple spin or the uh, sliding. I found out after like 10 hours of playing Crash 2 Platinums that I shouldn't have been I shouldn't have been running the whole time. I should have been sliding. Made it needlessly harder for myself. I did exactly the same thing again. This is the first level. There's way worse levels than this. We're gonna be at this a while, aren't we? I still have also not managed to get all three masks. I also perfected CTR once upon a time, if that counts. The original one. I did not... St I have the uh, remake. I didn't stream it. I played it on my own time. I don't love CTR that much. So, uh, I have not yet... I don't know if I ever will 100% the remake. There's a lot to do in that game. Especially with all the content they added from uh, Nitro Kart Tag Team Racing. They didn't... I don't think they included anything from the mobile crash karting games. Other than, you know, Yaya Panda. Then again, I don't know if there were, like, any courses unique to them or anything. I don't know anything about the mobile crash karting games. Why am I... I shouldn't go down there. I'm missing boxes because of that. So I just have to uh, lose a mask on that.
on that uh, TNT. Or if I get all three masks, then I will be invincible and go through the TNT. One or the other. Guess I'm not getting that mask. Which would have been another invincibility. Again, assuming perfection. the end. How'd we do? That's quite a difference. That's a big time difference. Wow, I'm really gonna have to cut that down. On the plus side, look, it, it saves our initials now. I don't have to wank. Heckle Jack. I'm afraid Jack is not here today. You can't heckle him. Uh, I've already done everything in this game except for the relics, so I'm on my last task now. Uh, so the ghost appears to be spinning gratuitously. I, I guess I have my answer. I don't like it. I really got to do this the whole time now. And I'm already behind. I know it wasn't that much different before, like it was just sliding over and over again, but I don't know, that's two buttons. That's one more button than spinning over and over again. This just feels less dynamic. If the, if the Platinums are really bad, if this isn't another case of first level syndrome, where I've said this before, often devs make, often devs will make the uh, first level exceptionally difficult to 100% just to, just to counteract the idea of you thinking, oh, it's the first level, it'll be easy. I feel like that happens. If the platinums are too bad, I might just I might end up doing them off stream as I did with the original Crash 3 because the platinums were that bad in that game. The quality of life improvements and the more forgiving times in Crash 3 and Sane made them more bearable. stuck on wall. Just take me. I'm gonna try a little longer. I'm gonna keep going for it. Is this not going to be just an infuriating sound to hear me doing this all the time? Oh, 
Also, it does appear that I can only do it three times at a time. Like, it's not three spins and then every spin after that one. Platinums in this game are worse than PS1 Crash 3. I believe it. With the way these devs do things. I'm keeping up with him at the start. Alas, I'm human. Also, he's, uh, he appears to be missing boxes. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm not, uh, getting the full picture because we don't see boxes break on his screen. Damn it! I'm also doing a terrible job at keeping my masks. It's not even a good place to die from that spot. Missing boxes, missing all sorts of stuff. Look how far ahead he is. I just gotta take the hit if I don't have all three masks. I need them boxes. myself. My hand also keeps slipping off the thumbstick. I don't know if that's a... because I'm using a GameCube controller. You know what? I think I'm good with gold. I think I'm gonna move on. It's, it's fine. It'll give me stuff to do off-stream. Oh, wait. I wanted to change skins. I'll do it next level. This can be Dinosaur Island. I feel like I'm not... I don't really have a middle ground here. Like, I can go for all golds on stream, and it'll just... It's not going to be difficult enough to be a challenge. I mean, I'm sure it'll be a challenge, but... It's mostly just going to be for posterity, to say I did it. But if I actually tried for all, all platinums on stream, this would be a, a, a 20, 30 part... It'd be, I'd be streaming it that many times.
Good jump. How loud am I? I'm, I'm worried that I've been a little bit too loud on stream of late. I might need to turn my microphone down. This is just the Sapphire Relic. That's Nitro. I wonder why the rope was differently timed for him than me. Uh, I guess it just must load in at different times depending on when you get there. So that door appear seems to only need to open once, and then it's open for the rest of your, uh... Oh, that's right, this level has the timed platforms. This is before you get the masks. can't see where I'm going. That makes it dangerous to do the spin thing. Fortunately, this guy will break any uh, time crates that I miss. TNT, dynamite, and there's another one. <sighs> Abundant masks, thankfully. No! Oh, I should have slid. All right. Gold. Pretty please? Yeah, gold. That's probably going to be the norm. crash I haven't been in I haven't been to these levels in so long All I remember about this world is the stupid crates they hid inside tires One nice thing about time trials is I don't have to worry about the uh, bonus levels 
Some of the bonus stages have been mean in this game. Oh, God. Now I gotta juggle all this. This is, uh, this is a lot to keep track of. Wrong buttons! Oh, this is, this is a rail. I'm now behind the, uh, I assume Sapphire Relic. It'd be weird if the first ghost they gave you was, uh, was gold. Oh, God. Are any of these... I gotta check for crates everywhere, too. None of those are, uh... None of those are time crates, so I don't have to worry about those. I uh, cannot jump over TNTs on rails, I'm learning. Quiet time, it's focus time. I don't know why I need to even activate those. I don't. <sighs> Got the timing there. Ah! I want that! I need it! I want it! I need it! Got them all. I'm doing good. That wasn't a thing. I didn't need to do that. Oh, I got invincible. Great. Dumb sharks. What? Excuse me? Oh, that's right, man. I forgot I had the... I forgot I had the mask. That was a waste of time. There was a crate up there. I didn't see what it was. Could still be gold. Ah, platinum. I mean, uh, sapphire. They changed him. The sapphire used to have a red center. I'm, 
I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't think I want to replay levels. There's so many levels on the in this game, and the and the they're so long. I think I'm just gonna give it my my best try, and whatever relic I get is what I get. And then I'll probably end up going all platinum off stream. If the levels were shorter, I would I would be more all about this. I like that the game went back to all platforming after what Crash 3 was. Got to change costumes again. I bet the bosses don't have time trials. That's a little disappointing. It would have been cool to have boss time trials. Managed to get a logo commissioned. I still haven't gotten around to it. I'll have to do it tonight or uh, this weekend. I'm gonna one cycle it. You just watch. I could just actually, I can just wait a second from here. Them crash three strats. Oh, I needed that. I th this is the worst thing, though, having to wait at the very start of a level. I really wish they just timed it so that you could go immediately. I need that. Can't go without that. Could have checked out there. Not feeling adventurous. Oh, I didn't notice. I forgot that thought that bar was on top for some reason. This is also already going to be tedious just because it's a, it's a lot of memorization for levels this size. Man. It's hard enough to survive in a post-apocalypse. It must be especially difficult as a balloon. Nothing. That was not worth it. That was seconds wasted. go over here? I don't remember what's over here. It's nothing. I shouldn't have come over here. I don't remember all the branching paths and shit. Stopped in the wrong... I, that was right at the end, too. Man!
It's an appropriate end for a balloon, for a balloon, I suppose. I just I'm going to be doing this the whole stream, aren't I? Belly flopping instead of sliding. I need that. It's all right, we're still doing good. Well, good, quote unquote. Probably gold good, not platinum good, but. Got a little greedy with the shortcut there. I feel like this is good. This game is going to be a lot like the uh, the Arabian levels in Crash Three. I was very uncompromising with the timing and refusing to stop and wait in those levels. And I did end up getting a lot of accidental Platinums, despite not necessarily aiming for all Platinums on stream in that game. And I didn't get all Platinums on stream in uh, Crash 3 PS1. Man! Give me. There we go. I can't really get past that next fire section immediately anyway, so it's not too bad if I waste a little bit of time at that particular instance. can't tell if I just lost a mask there or not. I also don't know if there's time stop crates in there. I can't quite see if it's yellow or not. Here we go. All right, sub 50. All right, gold. Sub 43 for platinum. These are huge differences. Warrior. It's Ratchet. 
It's Crash It. Cratch It? Why geometry, though? I, it's a parody of Geometry Wars, obviously, but... The costume doesn't appear to have anything to do with geometry. So the process of memorization begins anew. I know there's some crates down in like a, a tar pit down there. I'm going to assume, like, every previous Crash game, crates that would require me to go out of my way are not time crates. could check, but once I'm that far into the level, I don't want to give up the run. I say running straight into a spiked ball. I also don't want them to be. I don't want to have to go out of my way for crates. I will check. Okay, good. I feel like I need to get this little guy. Because him flying into that, uh, that crate is what makes that part doable. That's how I should have been doing that. No, need that. Three crates are not missable. They're inadmissible missables. Lost all my masks. Who needs them? Ah, bad rope timing. Oh, it's this part where the thing goes up. Again, with the bad rope timing, right into fire. I'm having completely the opposite rope timing that I want.
On the plus side, I'll have a game to play again after this. Won't be missing Red Dead. I've been so short on games that I've once again resorted to playing MapleStory. It is a guilty lack of pleasure of mine. Nope. Please make the rope. Yes, good rope timing. That's what I need. Jump up. That one just doesn't turn off. I see. I see. I see. other crash game would these enemies be most suited to? They look like they would be in, like, uh, Twin Sanity. That sort of crash game. They don't look like the sort of enemies that would be in Crash 1 through 3. Which was... The original Crash trilogy was almost exclusively wildlife and uh, lab assistance. So that's kind of what I'm used to from the Crash series in terms of enemies. Oh, and uh, vague natives in the case of the first game. Wrath of Cortex also had vague natives, but they were weird Sonic Toontown Mobian characters. Not na Native American looking dudes. Missed it. Right into the fire that doesn't turn off. I had a mask to spare that time, at least. Oh, I need that. Give me the TNT, please. Nope, gotta make that. Gotta get through here. Oh, there's more stuff. I need those. Fire timing. I don't like timing things in a time trial. Is this the end? No, this is the chase part. Oh, unless I'm in a ball too for some reason. Instead of running, he hops into this for no reason. Although, on the plus side, I don't need to worry about the uh, spinning. I do need to worry about not going in the oil, because the oil slows me down. Ah! You put TNT on the course? That wasn't there before! I think that's new to this game. In Crash 3, in the Insane Trilogy, even. Time trials would only replace boxes with, uh, time crates. I don't believe there have ever been instances before where they re they turned normal crates into TNTs for the time trial. That's a first for Crash 4, because this game is just that mean. Chainsawed. I still don't have the timing for the triple spin down perfectly either, so it's just kind of, uh... Inconsistent? I 
got to stop and spin for that because I don't trust myself with a slide. Give me the rope. Yeah, good rope timing. Not perfect rope timing, but good rope timing. skip the platform I need to land on. Make it through there. I'm making good time. I do need to get these. Preferably quicker than that. Bad fire timing. Run's not ruined, though. I have, how many? One mask for the chase. And I have no idea where TNT could be, so I just have to wing it. Again. Don't gotta worry about crates too much, because this thing will break them. I think. Wait, did that not count? No, it counts. Alright, TNT on the left. Can't believe they added TNT crates to this. Not doing good. I'm hitting a lot of slow stuff. Okay, extra, extra mask. Hit the TNT. As far as I'm aware, there's not like a, a speed up button for these sequences. Polar the polar bear, this is not. Come on, make it to the end. Come on, come on. Sub fit 154. All right, gold. I need to save, shave another 20 seconds off of that for platinum. If I streamed that, every level would be an entire stream. It's entirely possible there's still a major mechanic that I'm missing. Interstellar Buccaneer. He looks like a like a football player. Look at that Chad haircut. Our first Tana level. I think I can't do time trials in uh, inverted. I think I need to do them in normal version. Which is... I was going to say it could be annoying because the... Uh, the crate escape is actually easier. In uh, the inverted than it was in regular. However, it's also underwater, which changes the physics and makes it slower. Which 
would therefore make it not good for time trial at all. Tana is not as smooth as the Bandicoots. Fortunately, I'm not seeing any of the uh, any of the distance crates you have to grapple being uh, time crates. They're nice. They're not doing that. I gotta wait for the door to open. No, I need to go down. Don't bounce on them. someone laughing. This is lining up nicely, however. Alright, crash section. Just the rolling. 46 seconds. Except it's probably harder and has more TNT now. And I have no mask. Oh, there's nitro! Of course there's nitro! I wonder if I get Aku Aku if he breaks the crate. Just jump repeatedly. That's all I can do is just hope. Another mask. That's great. Fingers slipping. That was a dynamite. Just missed it. Doing better on this one than I did on the on the original version of the level. <gasps> Another dynamite! Nitros! Missed the jump! Please don't die! I came so far for this! That was another TNT! Why they gotta sneak him in there? Why they gotta do that? Any relic is in itself an accomplishment just by virtue of getting the in through the entire level in one life in any reasonable amount of time. It's already outside the relics. The insane relics were the most difficult part of the game, which is getting all crates in a level without dying. Down to no masks once again. Get up there, Tana, please. About the same time. Fortunately, this is a short level.
They could just not put masks, I suppose. They could be meaner than they are. Which is always the case, no matter how bad a game is designed. Not to say this is badly designed, but you can always have worse game design. Even Bubsy 3D could be worse. Anything could be worse. I think that was my third mask. Not that it matters in this mode. Got the jump. Ow! Do I get that? I didn't get it. I'm now out of masks. There's going to be another jump on the left, I believe. I know there's another line of boxes with a TNT in them. There it was. And now I'm in blind territory. <gasps> we having fun yet? Where did the fun go, SpongeBob? Why did I... Not only did I not hit the enemy, I just died to quicksand. Pretty pathetic death, dying to cactus. Cacti. But humans, human beings are pretty squishy compar compared to platforming cartoon mascots. Imagine an obituary in the paper that a man had died because he had fallen into a field of cactus. That's just not something people die to. No matter how bad, how nasty the cactus is. It is simply not a lethal event. And these guys are dying to that? Missed the timing. I think this is the timing I normally get anyway. Got a one cycle on that. Go through, Tana, please hurry up. Make a little jump over here, save a little time. Sub 44. I do get better each time, but I would I would have to stick to one level for hours to get platinum on these. Missed that mask. Because when he breaks it. I do not get mask. That's all right. Last time I got three masks, which means I can still get up to two this time. I'm careful. I just got to remember the line of boxes with the TNT, which is coming up, I believe. So jump on the left I got to make to avoid those. Alright, two masks. Make sure to get that. Doing well. That's not the TNT one. This is... Uh, I missed the jump. No, I didn't miss the jump. 
But I did miss the box on the jump. I think I went over it somehow. I'm gonna fall down onto a TNT. That's such a mean placement. Oh, it's nasty. Less than 10 seconds away. There's probably the smallest gap short of a platinum so far. That's an achievement. Imagine they added super platinum. Dev times. Sp actual speedrunner times. Requiring actual speedrunner tech. That's what this game needs. Yes, sir. Looks like a David Bowie costume. Oh, this is the this is the boss. This isn't a level. Again, would be cool if these had time trial relics, but they don't. No boss speedrunning. I made this joke on the Discord. Do you suppose if Tecmo owned the license to the series instead of Activision? Would we get an entry called Call of Booty? I bet we would. I can't picture a Call of Duty game with gratuitous jiggle physics. I can't picture a shooting fra a shooter franchise with the same kind of focus on female characters with jiggle physics that many fighting games have. Other than Galgun, that doesn't count and you know it. And even that, even Galgun does not have as gratuitous character designs as Tecmo games. Could have gotten into Smash, except that uh, Smash is for good boys and girls. That's new since the last crash stream. We have our final DLC. We have Sora. I think I streamed the last I think the last crash stream was before Sora was revealed, let alone released. But uh, he's out now. No more ultimate DLC. Crash did not make it in. This is based off of nothing, but I would be willing to believe that uh, Activision was approached and they just said no. That would be very in character for them. Which would, uh, incidentally, explain why we got Byleth and arguably Min Min. It's not impossible that uh, they were backups should negotiations fail for third party characters. Especially considering that it was the final character of the DLC pack. One. People were very critical of the uh, strange decision to open and close DLC pack one with uh, Nintendo characters. I like Min Min. I'm in the minority there. I, I, I can't get that. I need to sacrifice a mask for that uh, that particular three crate. Because I need to spin. Doom Guy did make it in as a costume, so that's nice. I was rooting for him. In some form. Character would have been nice, but, uh, it's something. As this, so the extent of our FPS representation in Smash is, uh, Doomguy and, uh, well, Banjo doesn't count. Doomguy and Fallout. Vault Boy is a costume.
I wonder if Valve was approached. Or if there was just not, not the attempt made. It's just, I don't know what I was I was doing there. It would have been cool to get a Valve, Valve character. And it's very significant to gaming history, but... Uh, I don't know how stingy Valve is with their licenses. They don't really do crossovers with anyone. Nintendo or otherwise. Missed a crate down there. Don't feel like I have a lot of visibility on this course. Thankfully, the timer pauses during the cutscenes. Doesn't make a practical difference, but it's nice to have the have the lowest time, I guess. No, come back! Oh yes, this was uh, for those of you watching this in the future on YouTube. This was before they revealed that uh, they had snuck Waluigi into the game as an unannounced final free character. You just had to, uh... You have to fulfill certain conditions in game to unlock him, melee style. No announcement was made. They just kind of snuck him in. They shadow dropped Waluigi. Bold move of them. Very mixed reaction from people, but uh, you appreciate the dedication. Imagine. Imagine that turns out to be true. I'm bullshitting, obviously, but... I've been rewatching some uh, Vinny streams recently. From uh, before... Well, during the, the Smash, you know, DLC cycle. The hype cycle. The hype train, as it were. The repulsion people had at the idea of Steve getting in. Them wanting Doom Guy in. Travis touchdown. It's always surreal to see uh, dated Smash predictions. For such and such character do get in. There's a lot of enemies on this level. This is this is a level where the main obstacles are enemies. I mean I guess these I guess these rats count as enemies. The ones uh, flailing the swords. Because they're not normally defeatable. So does that make them an enemy or an obstacle? Although I think you can defeat them with the uh, invincibility mask, so... I guess that counts. Oh, how'd, the, how'd only one side get hit? Good uh, move set for Doom Guy, as me Gunner will be, or is. He's in. He's in the game. Darian just doesn't have it yet. Samus's charge blast and Fox's lasers are both. Well, Falco's lasers are both a little bit weird on Doom Guy. Oh, I can jump to break that. I don't need to. I don't need to use a mask. That's good to know. 
missed that. There's a lot of boxes to keep track of on this track. Okay, I got all but that 2-1. He's a big explosives guy. So like grenades, missiles. Made it. Bomb drop and maybe uh, lunar launch. It's not a great up special for him, but what are you going to do? <gasps> Woo, that was almost bad. This could be bad. Ah! So fucking close. Excuse my French, but this level is bread. This really does feel pretty lame, just constantly spinning through a level. Whose dumb idea was it to make Crash spin all the time? Fire that person. I think Crash game's about spinning. Stupid. Here's heresy. Let's see if I can get the precision jump required. Yes! I don't know how precise that is, actually, but... Got it! Alright, got all the time crates on the rail. So were these just animals? Or are these also Cortex Brio minions? Why did I jump? I didn't need to jump. Oh, I ruined my one cycle. And then I just drowned. mask there. I haven't been paying attention to where I would get three masks in this level, if I would get three masks. Would be cool if I could speed up these sections, like you can, uh, polar. Ah! I missed. Mario Party Superstars is apparently well received. I still don't like that, uh, they made a new one and charge full price for it instead of just updating the one that they'd already released on Switch. 
which was in desperate need of continued support because it released as an incomplete game. I may get it though, I may get superstars. Depending, I suppose, on if uh, Jack manages to get a hold of it. <gasps> what? I threaded the needle, I slipped right on through. my mask immediately and dead. The thing about Crash conceptually was that it's supposed to be you know a normal world with normal wildlife. And then you got Cortex making these Dr. Moreau super mutants that are abnormal. So given that these are octopi wearing, you know, pirate gear, talking and such, they have to be Cortex creations, not just wildlife. Not just things existing in the world. Crash kinda, uh, Crash kinda lost track of its own lore somewhere down the line. I didn't need to go down there. Hello, Tox. Uh, so the platinum relics were impossibly hard. Even as someone who uh, completed the previous hardest crash game to get all platinums in. I may still do them, but if I do, they will be off stream because if I tried to do them on stream, it would be like a stream per level is how bad they are. So I'm just going through and I'm getting the best times that I can within reason. Okay, how'd we do? Oh, that's right, there's more. I think this is the last room. It ends in like a treasure vault. Not gonna get that, that's a trap! How'd I do? Gold? Yeah, gold. Only five seconds away, I'm getting closer. I am inching. Very, uh, slowly closer. Some of the previous levels, I have been, like, 20 seconds away from the Platinum time. Even after thinking that I did really well. These are also very long levels. So it's a lot to do perfectly in a single run. Let's try Dinga Dial. Let's let's blows. Ah, oh, crikey! Everyone in the Crash Bandicoot franchise is Australian. However, you have to understand, because he is both a dingo and a crocodile. Dingodile is extra Australian. And you can tell when he talks. They've got to make sure you know how Australian Dingo Dial is. Uh, got a feeling I'm not in the bar, you know, Ma. 
Uh, crooky. Oh, what a wait, wait, Nick, can I jump over this? Why, just let me jump over it. Let me, let me be cheesy. Let me be like Chester Cheetah, he's my hero. Oh, he's not, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to Chester Cheetah that. Also, very, very not commonly known knowledge, crocodiles, terrible swimmers. Oh, hello. Oh, that's a lovely setup you have there. I see you put, you replaced all of those crates with nitros. That's also a first for this game, as if it wasn't enough to have impossibly difficult times. Unlike every previous Crash game, they felt the need to uh, replace some crates with explosives in the time trials. Never done that before. Oh, come on, that should have blown it up. Excuse me? Took me three attempts at that gate. Again, fortunately, the spin-off levels, the, the Tana and Dingadile and Cortex, are short. However, that was beans. Ain't got no time for moving platforms. They're dumb. Who needs them? Where we're going, we don't need platforms. It's a lovely uh, series of explosive platforms. That's all right, I can bounce on those. Actually helpful. <coughs> oh, I lost a mask to that. I don't feel terribly good about this run because of that stupid dynamite gate I got stuck on. All right, 108. It's a lucky time. Be a good Buddhist. Give me a 108. A uh, 109. Okay. Need uh, mo over 20 seconds off of that for platinum. How long have I been going? I've been going an hour and a half. I'll bet I can finish this, uh, this world. At the very least. I can do two more levels and then I'll start in, uh... Start in Mystic Asian Garden next time. Oh, this was the Tana introduction level. Does it start as Tana, or does it transition into Tana? I don't remember. I think it starts as Tana. Or is the whole level Tana? This might actually end as Tana. I, re I remember, like, swinging into a level exit with her. It's been so long since I did these early levels. Yep, all Tana. Oh, that's right, we don't know who she is yet. Nothing. Alright, you can have me. Come on. Give me a swipe. Wow, they, they just changed crates all over the place. Those ones changed into, uh... Into the slam crates. Sorry, reinforced crates. I want there to be a thing in Crash called Slam Crates. And then I want them to have a counterpart called Jam Crates.
What is the tutorial Tana level? It can't be too hard. Get grab the thing, Tana! Oh, I need to be up higher. Oh yeah, this has ghosts as well. New to Crash Time Trials. Previous games did not have ghosts. Did he just break the crate for me? I guess he can do that. Go down. Jump down early. Come on, you can take it. Why not? She she didn't hit the crate that I wanted her to hit. Ow. This is not a particularly short level. We only get to have short levels if it's like alternating between Tana and Bandicoot. Not if it's all Tana, then she gets the full length. I think I'm making good time though. It, boy, it's very, it's so convenient that there is a perfect amount of flotsam positioned between these two pirate ships. Otherwise, I would be, as they say, shit out of luck. That was a weird jump. I'm not getting... Oh, I have one mask. I have a little safety. Where am I going? Going up here. I see. Just all the pirates. They're everywhere up here. The mast, as you know, is the most popular part of a pirate ship. For hosting parties. No! No! Ah! I saw the crate too late. I got greedy. Go on, ghost. Wow, this ghost sucks. You see how long she spent there? Just ask Luffy. That's right. That's the cat. Well, it's not the. He doesn't hang out in the mast that much. He hangs out on the on the the front, the captain's seat. He kind of stopped doing that though. After a point in One Piece. Post time skip, we kind of stopped getting as many just fun little offbeat moments with the straw hats. Which was a lot of the fun for the series for me. You know, the parts where they, they weren't necessarily on a huge adventure on an island. Not that those aren't good too, but... I wonder what the odds are. Somewhere down the line, distant future in 50 years when One Piece is over, and it's been over for 10 years. We get a One Piece Kai. And they just, they abridge the hell out of it. Bring it down to, you know, only like 20, 20 episodes per arc. 
because boy do One Piece arcs drag on. It pays off. They they really you spend a lot of time on a One Piece arc. And then they really ham up the end of it. The, the payoff is huge, but... Oh, it takes so needlessly long to get there. It's this... It's not... It's the kind of filler that Dragon Ball Z used. By just kind of... Faffing about and doing nothing in an episode for long enough that they would reach the 20-minute mark. It's a way to do filler without having filler episodes. It's to just fill time. I feel like One Piece does that a lot. I do actually think One Piece is a good show. All of it, even. It's not like you have to wait for it to get good. Or there's some marks that are, like, way better than others. It's pretty much all pretty quality. But it's a thousand episodes of quality. So how do you tell someone to watch that? You don't. Boy, it'd be nice if it was shorter. Oh, they have an episode of OVAs. Well, that helps, I guess. Have, have you seen any of them? How good are they? Are they something that someone who's never seen One Piece before could reasonably watch through and be all caught up? I would hope so, because that's what I imagine their intended purpose is. Why did I- I did the- the, the circle. Okay, actually- I actually tried to slide as Tana, except Tana cannot slide. She just goes straight into the butt slam. That's all she know how to do. That butt know how to do nothing but slam. Except possibly jam. God, I, I don't want to bounce. Bouncing wastes time. Come on and slam. Uh, she she actually does like a knee drop. Coco does the butt slam. actually remember if uh, Tana can get three masks. If she has an invincibility state, or if she just caps out at two. Animation isn't good, they skip important things. That's a shame. That's kind of why I said a Kai series, not like movies or something, because One Piece arcs are too substantial to really be compressed into single episode OVAs or movies or something. However, they could be significantly trimmed down. They still need several episodes, just fewer than in the regular anime. Doing good. I just jinxed it by saying that. I know I did. I missed the mask. And I took a hit. Sh I should have shut up. And dead. I've heard complaints that the animation quality in One Piece is uh, not great in general. As it goes on. We just finished Fishman Island, so we're still... 
we're just past the time skip. We have we haven't gotten to the the deeper parts yet. Boy, she loves to die right there. That is her favorite spot to lie dead on. Did I get a pity mask? I survived that one. It was that just a weird hitbox failure. Now imagine a Naruto Kai without the filler. It's weird. Comparatively, the filler didn't take that much time of bleach. I took a substantial amount of it, to be sure, but... Bleach is another show that kind of just drug on unnecessarily. But unlike One Piece, it didn't quite have the payoff. It was just like one... one giant arc that took all the time. Ah. I know it's a Toei thing. Oh, yeah, for sure. DB Super... Dragon Ball Super was infamous for having a uh, very poor television broadcast in terms of animation. They rushed stuff out to uh, meet deadlines and then would fix it up for the DVD release. That was not the right button. I don't know if the same thing happened in One Piece because we're watching the, you know, the home media release. So maybe we're not, maybe maybe we're not seeing the animation errors in One Piece. Do you know if they fix those up in post or if, or the, were those just left? Unlike Dragon Ball. The lack of a slide jump is hurting me. I, I can't go as high over enemies like those crabs. As I can as a uh, Crash or Coco. Uh-oh! Well, I didn't bounce on them. That's, that's nice, I guess. I hate that I can't drop off this early. There's no reason I wouldn't be able to. Got back up to the spot that I got to on my first attempt on this level. That's how it always goes. The first attempt is the best, and then you just do worse. Alright, up into the mast. Oh, that's a mask over there. I could have got that. Dragons are making the samurai jack noise. Why? Oh, she can't stop on the rail. I thought I could jump and, like, stop in place to shoot the thing, but she doesn't stop. She just keeps on going. Wasn't it announced they're doing another Dragon Ball Super movie? And they announced it was going to be, like, full CG. Instead of backpedaling on that, because people complained about the, the previous Dragon Ball movies and their gratuitous CG, they're just going all in. And, of course, there's also the live-action One Piece, which is happening. Which people were freaking out about the cast about, apparently. 
which I assume wouldn't happen unless it was a Western production with a Western cast, because people don't know or care about Asian actors. Not the, not the mass of Twitter users, anyway. Do you know who is the uh, live-action One Piece cast, Darian? Because I haven't heard yet. Tana, please! And she can only fire her thing once in the air. Dragon Ball Super Superhero. That's what it's called, that's right. And they're saying it'll be more slice of life compared to the Broly movie? For Dragon Ball? What does that mean? Is it gonna be like that, that ultra lame final Dragon Ball Z episode? Where Goku's a piece of shit and abandons a party to protect a bird or something. I, I shouldn't call him a piece of shit for that, but... Boy, he's frustrating sometimes. Slice of life, Dragon Ball. Are we finally going to get closure on the TN and, and launch scenario? Is launch going to come back? What else could happen in a uh, slice of life, Dragon Ball? Maybe we'll see Upa again. Dragon Ball Super has finally been uh, reviving parts of the series that Toriyama forgot about for decades. Only after people complained about these things in Dragon Ball Z for even more decades. faster to shoot those. Probably not. I can't pick- I, I don't know what they mean by that. What is a slice of life Dragon Ball movie? It's probably not as literal as that suggests. I'm sure there's still gonna be like fights and things, but Well, that took quite a while. Only four seconds away from Platinum. I'll bet if I spend another hour on this, I could get Platinum for this level. But I won't. I think I got one more level in me. We can finish off this world, and then that'll be the stream. I'm gonna double check, just cause I'm curious. Does the time trial clock show up on the inverted levels? I think it doesn't. What was the time difference between Crash 3 and Crash 4? This game came out 2019, I think? Crash 3 was probably around 2000. It wasn't 20 years. Well, it might have been. 
Might have been a 20 year difference. There were other crash games between, obviously, but, uh... Even in the promotional material, Crash 4, uh, made a joke about retconning all of the, uh... Less favorably remembered Crash games from the timeline. They specifically made this Crash 4 so that it would be established as, like, a reboot. Posted an image of the cast in the server. Okay. I don't... I, should I know names? They look fine, I guess. <laughs> Usopp looks like Pedro. From, uh... Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah, th those are faces. I don't know the names that go with any of them. Warped was number three, yes. After that, Naughty Dog made Crash Team Racing, and then they gave up control. I don't know what exactly happened. I think they just wanted to move on to other things, but uh, there was still interest in Crash games, so it went to other developers. That's what I assume happened. So after Crash Team Racing, there was Crash Bash, the party game. And then it went to uh, PS2 and had several games of uh, mixed reception. Crash Wrath of Cortex was just kind of a clone of Crash 3. I, I liked it. I thought it was okay for a, a transition to the PS2. Most people didn't. Then they did Twin Sanity, which was kind of like Jack and Daxter in that they tried to mix up the formula. That's not the way to go. I need to go right. They tried to mix up the formula and make it like an open world thing. Which people who grew up on the game liked. It wasn't particularly crashy, but... And then they did some beat-em-up games, which pretty much nobody liked. Those were the super outliers. That That's a dick. I just wanted to point that out while it was on the screen. And that was all we got from the series until uh, the Insane Trilogy. They, they just made increasingly questionable games, then they made two bad beat-em-up games, and then they just stopped. Crash petered out. Crash and Spyro had difficulty on the PS2. They could not compete with the uh, actual Naughty Dog and Insomniac series. Jack and Ratchet. Which were the series that the Crash and Spyro devs went on to do on the PS2. Were well received. Or better made games than what Crash and Spyro got on the PS2. Oh, I can't get all these. I need to I need to slow down for those. Getting all of the time crates is more valuable than holding the boost is. I bet I can catch up. I can catch that. Oh, but I want the time crate. I don't know if that was worth it or not. These are spikes. There's a lot of these spikes. Ah! Eel! What are these names? Watch Kevin Michael Richardson appear. Nope. I don't recognize any of them. The last guy, the guy playing Sanji, looks like Eminem.
Which is funny because Eminem was parodied in One Piece. Uh, I don't know how common knowledge this is outside of people who watch One Piece, but uh, many One Piece characters are... Not always obviously, but not noticeably if you're looking for it, based off of real celebrities. One villain being based off of Eminem. Who was it? Horty was, uh, people thought Horty was based off of Michael Jackson. That one's a little bit of a stretch. There's a villain who is, uh, very, ob very apparently based off of the pro wrestler Mankind. He has the same mask and everything. This is not good timing for this particular thing. Also, I keep hitting those, I keep getting spiked. What does Eminem do in these days? Could he be doing movies and, and, and Netflix series if he wanted to? Spondum, yeah, was the, the Mankind reference. A.K.A. Triple H. Hunter Hearst Hemsley. I only know anything about pro wrestling because I've been around Jack. Oh, I get invincibility. That's great. Kind of. No! Oh, that has a hitbox. Oh, Mankind didn't like them using his likeness. He also... No, I'm not... It's not uh, Mankind. It's, uh... I was thinking of Mick Foley. Uh, Mankind in Triple H is the likeness of, uh... Spondum in One Piece, but uh, Mick Foley does some voiceover and animation, including the character The Boulder in The Last Airbender, who is a, a parody of The Rock, obviously. So it's wrestler Mick Foley doing his impression of wrestler Dwayne Johnson for The Boulder. I'm drawing a blank on what some other characters that uh, One Piece had based off of people were. Did I just gain and lose my mask immediately? I kind of want the triple. I want I want the invincibility. That was really nice to have in that that spike dildo section. Man! This level is dildos. Also get an awful timing for that rope. Awful timing. I hate that. Oh, 
Okay, I'm caught up here again. I'm not gonna get eaten by the fucking eel. Uh, I'm gonna go full speed past the cannons. Cannons are... B b b b who, cannon safety, who cares? Uh. Okay, I lost a mask, but that's fine. Oh, there's this section. I forgot there was a mask part on this level. I can't see what the boxes are until I do the thing. Is this- this isn't the one with the boss, is it? Oh, it might be. There's a mid- there, I forgot there's a level with a mid-level boss. At one point in this game. Oh no! Ah, oh, why are the levels so long? This is, this is the level with the boss at the end. It has to be. This, because this is the world with the, the surfboards, the, the motorboards. Or was that in the Mardi Gras world? Actually, I don't remember now. I think the Mardi Gras world had, uh, had a surfboard section as well. Do I even want to go off that ramp or does it slow me down? Hey, I need my masks. Stop taking them from me. I could, I could catch up to that if I was real precise. I know I could. Or if I had the mask, would also be great there. The invincibility. I definitely do not want to be subject to the whims of, I don't know, don't know how I was going to end that se sentence. I don't want to be subject to anyone's whims. I'm smart. I did get the box, thank you. Oh, I lost my mask! I need those. I had to say I would do one more level. I couldn't have just stopped it at the previous level. I could have done that. I didn't. I made a commitment and now I gotta keep it. Oh, this will be a short stream. I'm not feeling like doing a long stream tonight. Let me just add this level on to the end. It'll only add an extra hour. Let's go around that. Seems faster. Why did I spin that? 
Just whatever. Bad run. Maybe I need to wait for a second at the start to get good rope timing. Maybe that's what's happening. As we learned in the Insane Trilogy, the way it loaded level obstacles was different from the original PS1 games, which made a difference in time trials. I don't yet know how this one loads things, but it seems like it's consistent every time. Bad rope timing. Let me just not get the crates. Let me let me book it immediately. Maybe that'll give me good rope timing. I do want the mask though. That looked different, the, the timing for that, the fire. I wanted that. I, I got greedy. I thought maybe I'm good enough now to, to speed through all those crates. I wasn't. Losing masks everywhere. <gasps> I failed to book it immediately, so may, let, let me wait a second. Nope, bad rope timing. Decent rope timing. I would really like to keep my mask this time. Can I do it? I cannot. I do kind of miss crunch. Kind of. Okay, I, I don't really miss crunch that much. If there's anything that could stand not to have been retconned out of the timeline, it's him. I'm fine without Nina. I don't, I don't need Nina. Ooh. Ooh, hello! Lost a mask for it. That was a needless loss of mask, but we caught up to a whole extra platform. And I lost another mask. Awesome. However, we are a full platform ahead, and I just SD'd on a shark. I'm getting I'm getting very slightly better over time. I got good rope timing. Excellent rope timing. Still got my mat. No, I don't have my mask. That 
that fucking anchor. Gotta go on the right side. You'll notice I'm spinning constantly. That's a move that was added to this game. Specifically, it's the speed tech of this game. You unlock it after... Uh, there's no run. Instead, you unlock the triple spin after clearing the game. So it's like the Mario triple jump. I just have to spin three times in well-timed succession, and I get a little speed boost. I don't like it. I don't like that that's the speed mechanic of the game. I end up just, uh... ...mashing the spin button all the time. It's not particularly fun. I get that it's meant to reward consistency, and it does. It's not fun, though. Ooh, took out the other shark. Up to this part with no masks. Not great, but could be worse. I need my masks. Just got anchored immediately. I haven't even gotten to the boss yet, assuming this is the level with the boss. Maybe that's Orleans. One of the worlds in this game is just New Orleans. Which I credit for being something you don't see in video games often. I love when video games have creative worlds like that instead of, you know, the ones that every platforming video game has, that every Mario game has is uh, grasslands, ice, lava, desert, Just the same grab bag levels, every game after game after game. The Mario lands were fun about avoiding that. Mario Land 1 had, like, uh, cultural worlds. It had, like, uh, World 1 was beach. It had, like, a uh, 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 Asian temple world, things like that. Then Mario Land 2 had extra weird ones. Like, uh, Space World, Toy World, which was a, a giant toy Mario. Halloween World. Some of the new Ma Mario games have interesting worlds. They just don't come up very often, though. I think it was, uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii U had a, uh... It had a level that was based on the, the Starry Night painting. But I think it was just a single level, not a whole world. A painting art world would have been cool in general. Rayman had one of those. Although it wasn't based off specific paintings, it was just based off of art supplies. Still cool though. Great music. Love that world. Had to stop. I don't like stopping in this. Got my mask. I'd like to keep it. I opened my mouth and I shouldn't have. I'm waiting for the karma. It's coming. Two masks.
Ooh, ooh, I got it. Good shit. I am at the surf section with two masks. This is this is it. This is the one. So bad, I deserve two deaths. Hello, Jeter. You met, you showed up for the tail end of the stream. I swear, I'm just about to get this. It'll be great. Only spent 45 minutes on this level. It's going to come to a head. This is the one. This is the this is the attempt. Got my mask. Still got my mask. Lost my mask. Bad rope timing. Well, it could have been worse, but... Not ideal. If I get invincibility, that'll make up for any small, uh... Small inadequacies that affect the run prior, though. I'm probably trying way hard. I, I will be happy with Sapphire. The lowest relic level. But can't, damn it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it an earnest try. I'm not gonna get all platinums on stream, but I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get my best time on every level on stream. comment on having two masks. I'm just gonna let it happen. Whatever will be, will be. K Sarah Sarah can't even spin boxes correctly anymore. I thought I actually turned into a ghost for a second there. No, the time trial ghost just kind of stopped and looked at me when I died. Do I had did I already lose my mask? I don't have a mask. I like how the ghost mocks the player. Only insofar as like, hey, look how well you could be doing. 
Assuming it were a better ghost. This is this is the sapphire ghost. This is the shittiest one. the rope. I'm consistently getting a subpar rope timing, which means I need to change up my starting at the start of the level, my starting time. This anchor is in the worst possible place. Ah! Lost a mask. I've made that jump before. I know I can make it all the way to that box. Make it. Yes! Best rope timing. Still slowing down for these, which is suboptimal, but I'm gonna I'm gonna have to like be able to speed through and get all of those for platinum, aren't I? I'm pretty sure it's gonna expect that of me. Thankfully, I can walk on the on the crates for a brief moment in this game. In previous crash games, having the mask could be a liability. Because you would go right through crates that you needed to bounce on. Much like having a star in Mario. And going straight through turtles you need to jump on. Maybe I can come up with a, a strategy, like just uh, walking to the clock at the start every time. No slides, no spins. That did not give me the best rope timing, but close. Lost my mask. So how much of this game have you seen, Jeter? Have you seen other, uh, other time trial relic runs? I think the boss is in the next world, or in Orleans, rather. Which is the world after the world after this one. Then again, I see tentacles. So, maybe not. All right, one mask. I gotta not go in the instant death whirlpools, that'd be good.
only the beginning of the game. Like you've only seen the beginning of the game per period or only the beginning levels for uh, time trials. All right, so I need to walk to it and then wait just a split second. That's my strategy. I should be jumping on that, but... I didn't want to get the timing. Ah! Uh... I really just had to decide to do it the smart way, which I've not been doing this entire time. Suboptimal, as they say. The movement of the slide seems so oddly choppy. Doesn't feel choppy. It, this game does a good job of feeling like the original Crash Trilogy. Do you think it feels choppy in the Insane Trilogy? I know you tried playing Crash 2, which was your first Crash game recently. <gasps> That's stupid! I hate that- I hate that they have a, a hitbox. I don't know why they wouldn't, but it'd be nice if they didn't, and I just could, like, go through them. When I was invincible? That'd be great! I've managed to, uh, it took a great deal of time and effort, but I have managed to do everything in this game except for the time trials. And there are many, many, many collectibles in this one. No, go, go down, Crash, you failed. This game has, uh, six gems per level. It has all boxes, three for different amounts of fruit, one for not dying, or less than three deaths, and one hidden somewhere in the level. And then it has another six matching those for an, a mirrored or inverted version of the level. So 12 gems every level, and also something called an insane relic which requires you to do the crash one of getting every crate without dying. Except it's obscenely hard for these levels because they're so incredibly long. The insane relics were easily the hardest part of the game thus far. I was hoping the regular relics would be easier, but uh, they're proving not to be. The original trilogy was also usually pretty decent about not having too many meanly hidden crates. You could figure you could figure out where all the crates in a level were on your own just by being thorough. Being thorough is not enough in this game. There are nasty mean-spirited crates hidden all over the place in many many levels. I had, to, I had to look up a guide for pretty much every, every level in this game, or pretty close to it. Ooh, 
losing all my masks. I am maskless. I am as naked as a Link who is just starting his Majora adventure. All right, no masks, here we go. Uh, that was very close. I can't stop though, I just gotta book it. I could be less anal. I could just go for it and settle for the, the sapphire relic. But then I'd know I hadn't given it my best. I want this level to reach 100%. I want him to know that he tried his best and he still couldn't beat me as a Super Saiyan. That this is important, King Kai. Lost another mask. All right. Got one mask. Better than no masks. I hate that TNT. I didn't get a time crate, but I'm okay. Now, I know this is here. I just got to get the... I finally got the depth just right. Another invincibility? Oh no, I lost a mask somewhere. Oh, here we go. Here we go! Yes, sir! Come at me, sharks! Second of these sections. Uh, these fucking barrel rats. Uh, this is the second time we're here. We got here once before. No, there's a cannon. No, there's another cannon. I hate this. I hate this. Why are you all here? Don't you have lives? This is the level with the boss. Can I just go? Oh! Oh, I don't have to fight the boss! They cut the boss from the time trial. Thank you. Oh, now I just need to cut a whole 30 seconds off of that for platinum. Won't that be fun? Imagine get going through all of that and, and dying to the boss at the end. All right, that's it. We we've concluded this arc of One Piece. There was no boss. The the real boss was the friends we made along the way. Next time we'll move on to Avatar Land, or Korra Land in the Spirit World. This looks Spirit Worldy. Probably two more streams of relics, I want to say. The levels do get significantly harder. I don't know. I, I have a lot of practice with them, though. I, I'm, I'm jinxing myself just by saying that. But I have done all the, all the, the relics. 
the insane relics. So I, I, I'm feeling prepared? Question mark? This is going to take a while. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll probably see you this weekend with Jack and we'll stream something. Adios.